Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Let's give everybody a few minutes to get on. Say hello if you're here. So I know that you're there. I did get a new microphone. So I'm testing that out today before I do a whole recorded video with it. So let me know if you have any issues hearing, rustling, or you can't hear me at all. Maybe you just see me talking. Good morning, Shinova. Can you hear me okay? I got a new microphone, so I'm not sure if it's working. I mean, I've of course tested it out on a regular you know, phone video, but you never know how it's going to work with this thing. Oh, good. So let me know if that changes. I should be packing, getting ready for the cruise. They leave tonight. But I wanted to sew something up. I haven't really sewn since before Thanksgiving. So I wanted to just kind of get in the mood to for the cruise. And I really wasn't sure what I wanted to make, but I bought a couple of these um, kits from Glitterbug Fairy. And they came with the waterproof canvas and the panels to make a quick little tote. So I want to sew that up. They are, of course, little squirrels. So I had to get them, little Christmas squirrels. They don't have them as a set anymore, but they do carry just the panels to make this. It's the eight and three quarter by 12 inch panels. Look how cute it is. So that's what I want to sew up today. It should be pretty quick. It's just a um, basic tote bag with webbing handles and waterproof canvas on the inside. Bring it down a little bit. I need to cut out my boxed corners first. So it comes, it just had to trim up a little bit on the panel um, first. But she gives you all the dimensions in the pattern. I think the pattern's maybe like $2 on their website so if you want to make this on your own you can order the panels and um, use waterproof canvas that you have in webbing or you can make so many different options with these little panels but I figured it'd be something quick and easy that I could sew up before I leave just to kind of get creative mojo back So what is everybody up to today? It's Sunday, I know it's early in some places, but like I said, I need to finish up packing. I'm leaving here about four o'clock to head over to Port Canaveral and then we board the ship tomorrow for the SME cruise. should be really fun. I am teaching the travel pass of uh, the family travel organizer by Lynn's Handmade. It's a pretty good classic bag. This is written as a regular pull through bag, but I think I'm going to do it as a drop in just because it may be I just really like drop-ins, especially with the cylinder arm. And I don't have to turn it all out. So the bottom shut. Oh, Devon pouches. Those are nice.
bag comes with um, the instructions come with everything that you need, of course. But I think you can pretty much do so many things with these panels. They're so cute. Mark my centers. Got pretty cold for our little rehab girl squirrels this week. But now it's back in the 80s. Hello, Diana. So I'm going to mark my placement for the handles. Just making a cute little easy, simple pouch. Or I guess tote, rather. Panels from Glitterbug Fairy. So just shouldn't take too long. Just wanted to come hang out with you guys before I am gone for the week. I will be back next Saturday. mark these so that I know how high it's sticking out off of each side. So my handles are the same. I'm excited for this cruise. I went on the last SME cruise and it was so fun just to hang out with like-minded people to just enjoy everything that you do. Nice little break. Right before the holiday. Good food. Do the same for this side. Since this isn't going to be seen, you can just use a regular marking pen. Kind of works better on webbing a little bit. It's five nights. Um, the last one we did was four. This one is five. We are leaving on Monday and coming back Saturday morning. So it's just long enough. Going with my best friend, so Joey will be here too. Keep sending out orders, holding down the fort, hanging out with Skittles, these squirrels. So before I base these on, I just want to line them up and make sure that they are even with each other. So that when I sew my bag together, my handles line up. And they should be because we marked it out, but just in case. So we'll do that, and now I want to baste this on. Chair didn't feel like it was up all the way. Snip these and we want to leave a little bit of an overhang 
just so it has some stability inside the bag. We're going to Cosmo, which I've been to several times on a cruise, and it's a really nice area, and Coco Cay Bahamas. So we have two at sea days, and those are days that we're going to be sewing. And I think there's four classes a day, um, and both at sea days. So I think a total of eight classes each, if I'm not mistaken. I have to double check, but it's decent. Um, Salty sews, um, Sarah and Debbie. Myself and Laura Mormino are teaching. So good group of people. Is the microphone still doing okay with me moving around? It's not rustling or anything. Super annoying. It's really a good test so that I know when I film a regular video positioning. Struggles with mics are hard, <laughs> especially with the machine picking up all the noise and moving and rustling. It's not like most um, most mics where you can just kind of clip it on and go, moving around so much. Okay, so. going to check the seam allowance and what I can get away with with um, doing a drop-in. Oh, it's going to be so cute! Okay. So I'm going to draw a line about a half inch down. That will be my fold line. I like this grid ruler just because you can see the lines a lot better. Lost my pin. So I prefer a little bit bigger of a seam allowance when I do a drop in lining, but sometimes. The, like especially with this one when they don't count for a big seam allowance to be sewn um, you can get into some of the prints so I'm going to keep this one a little bit smaller Same thing for this side. And again, you won't be seeing that side, so we don't really need to um, worry about using a removable or disappearing ink. Do the same for the lining side. And do you guys remember when disappearing ink was so popular? It just came in the bottle and you'd squirt your friends. You'd like, oh my! So we got that. I'm going to start with my lining. I'm going to go right sides together. Grab a couple of this. Okay. 
And I'm gonna sew down the side and bottom with a regular stitch. We don't need anything special here. Our right sides together. Back stitch at the corners, and I'm going to turn and go across the bottom. We have a fabric store in Cosmo that I think we're gonna try and walk to. So I'm pretty excited to see if they have um, anything different than what we have here. There's native fabric to Mexico. It'd be pretty awesome to get some cool fabrics to bring back. try and document some of our time there. Um, I said that the last cruise, but it was so fun and things happen so fast. You just kind of, all of a sudden you're done with the cruise. <laughs> but I'll try, try harder this time. So I can share with you how it all kind of works. It's kind of neat being, you know, the seeing the convention part of the cruise. So we need to box our bottoms. Just pulling everything apart and butterfly our bottom seams out so it lays flat. Open everything up and let's stitch that down. this corner. Hello everyone who's just joining in. I see several just got on. We're just making a quick little tote pouch uh, or tote bag um, from Glitterbug Fairy with one of their panels. When I saw the squirrels, Christmas squirrels, you know I just had to get them. If you're new here, um, we've been rehabbing some little baby squirrels. They're not so baby anymore. They are getting ready to venture into the outside world in the next couple weeks as soon as I get back from my travels. That way I can be here for them to come back and visit and get food still. So that's why we have so many um, squirrel things and post about squirrels just because um, we've been rehabbing them for a little while. and. My Facebook group was the first to see that we found um, our little baby squirrel. So I'm just um, trimming the bottom of my seam allowance here on the corners. And then I want to do the same for the side, but I'm going to stop at our seam allowance up on the top. So these are our two little girls, Matilda and Honey. So you have stickers and machine magnets too. They're just so cute. If you're not in the Facebook group creating with Joe Lily, um, you can join and see some pictures of them there. I try and post to keep you guys up to date on them. All right, so there we have our lining. And if you were gonna turn it through the bottom, just leave a hole in the bottom part and then you can turn through and stitch it closed. But like I said, I'm gonna do it as a drop in just to Eliminate having to turn it all. Okay, so we have that. We'll sit that aside and grab our 
five panels. So our little squirrels. I'm gonna add them right sides together. And I want to make sure I'm lining up my straps. We already checked to make sure that they were positioned okay, but if not, you want to make sure that that's what we're lining up, just so that when you're carrying it, no one wants a crooked strap in their bag. Make it sit kind of funny. So I'm gonna line those up first. Clip it across the top. Your center points should line up. Then we're going to do the same thing. We need to stitch across the sides and the bottom, leaving our top open. Super quick, great gift bags. You can batch sew them if you're doing markets. The panels are priced reasonably so that there's not crazy amount. Like I said, you probably didn't even have to trim up the excess on the panel. It just hadn't made one before, so I wanted to try, but I think it would be in the seam allowance and would be just fine. So you could just pull it out and stitch it up. Just make sure they're even. Okay, so we're doing the same. We're going to go down the sides. stitching when we get to the bottom corner. And turning, going across the bottom. Everyone's so quiet today. Trim our threads and we need to box our bottoms on the exterior. So we'll do that. Line up our seams. Sometimes you want to make sure that it's lined up the same distance back as your seam allowance. So just not right at the edge too, um, but deep down in about um, at least three eighths of an inch or so, so that you can make sure that it's um, lined up once the stitching meets. Because if you just line up the edge, then it could still swivel on the inside or turn on the inside and not line up evenly. Such a good little quick tote to get your sojo back because you can just, you'll be finished in no time. We've only been on here for about 20 minutes. You know, sometimes it's overwhelming to get back in the groove. That's how I've been this week where it's like, okay, I want to make something. I have no idea what I want to make. But cutting out, so stressful. This was just already almost together for me. So we're doing our other boxed corner. Well, putting together a cat condo. Did you um, get one on Black Friday? The catios are so, I know you said condo, but I don't know if it's like a catio. 
that's like a bigger one or is it like a tower? Our squirrels right now are in like a, almost like a catio um, outside getting ready for release. So yeah, a tower. We got one for the squirrels last year on Black Friday uh, for inside. They love playing on it. It's a little cactus. I seem like a crazy squirrel lady, but I guess we kind of are. Oh, six levels. That's awesome. Hopefully it goes together pretty easy. Normally they do. Not my mess. Okay, so now we need to turn our X. Uh, let me fold down my edges for my. Just make sure everything's stitched okay. Oh, so cute. Okay, so now I want to fold down my edges. It would be easier if we have it this way to add the tape and to fold it down. So I'm going to butterfly my side seams. I want these to stick out this way. And I'm just going to add tape along that top edge. Fold this side open. Then wrap it around, folding the back side open. Like I said, I prefer a little bit bigger seam allowance when doing a drop in, but the picture was a little close to the top, so I didn't want to fold it down anymore. It just gives you a little bit more area to fold down. So now we're just going to that one there. pull off our backing tape and I'm going to fold down that raw edge to the line that we drew. Same thing, fold it over. Just working the way all the way around the bag, just folding over when you get to the straps, just fold that raw edge of the vinyl down. You can make this bag with anything, it doesn't have to be a panel, it's just so easy, a quick make with these panels for Tardy B to size. like where these handles are. It's kind of pulling itself so I'm just going to add a couple clips. Same thing for this side. Just a couple clips to hold those handles and the corners. to turn this right side out. Poke our corners out. Oh, there's that little piece of tape. And 
going if you have anything pulling or if you missed a area of your corners now you want to flip that back out and fix it now so fold our corners and I like to take our corners and pull them across the bottom and kind of pinch that that way that'll help the bottom crease stay so we're just kind of taking those corners making it all flat and the edges here where our bag will stand and now we want to do the same thing for our lining where we add the double-sided tape and fold it over So butterfly open our side seams. Tape across the top. Butterfly open the sides. right across the top. Make sure that little flap on the side stays open. Just really helps it stay better. So, less, oops, less lumpy. off the backing of our double-sided tape and fold everything down to that line. Bags will be perfect for little Christmas presents. Just add some tissue paper and a gift. And it's reusable. Come back around. to fold, or not fold, but push my seams on the side together. And I want to crease all the way over to the other end. And I want to mark my center point on the side. Same thing for this side, line up our center seams, pull it out to the end. Mark your sides. And then that way it'll help us line it up better when we stick it inside the tote. So we can just add this into our tote. If your machine has trouble with double-sided tape, you can just clip everything around the sides. I'm going to add just a little strip of double-sided tape around the edge of the lining so that it'll hold it together whenever I top stitch and I don't have to worry about the clips. Holding everything in place, this double-sided tape will hold it in place. Since it's a small seam allowance, you may stitch through it. Um, that's why I kind of like the bigger seam allowance on the drop-ins so you can put the tape just below where you're going to stitch it at eighth inch, but you can kind of do the same here. So I'm just going along the bottom of that fold instead of the top. Also, you don't want your tape to stick out the top of the bag and your top stitching and 
can get a little sticky. Okay, double-sided tapes on. So I'm going to start at the corner or the side seam here. Match up our side seams. I want to line everything up before I pull off that tape. Tuck our straps in, find our center point, and line that up with our center point on the exterior. And you should have that marked already or um, snipped from where we snipped our um, bag together to find our handle points. So you can kind of just line that up. So now I'll find my center point here, line that up, and then now I can ease everything back in. Make sure my handles are all tucked in. Just move your clips over to the main body. Handles tucked in. Add your lining and clip. Everything's clipped there. Same thing here. that back in. One last slide over here. And if you feel like you have a little bit of excess, you can kind of just stretch your bag out and tighten everything up, and that will pull your lining tight in your exterior. So make sure everything fits on the inside. And then now I'm going to find that side seam where I started my tape and pull that off. And I can kind of just go around pulling off the tape, remove the clips, add the clip back. Especially by our handles here, it's the part that wants to kind of come out. So I'm just pulling the backing off the tape as we go around the bag. And I'm just leaving the clips on the edge of the handles. Everything else should stick fine. Make sure the lining covers the basting stitches for our handles. Match up our side seams. So we go all the way around. back around to where we started. So now we have our little tote bag. How cute. And we just need to top stitch. I'm going to use my clips and then if you have a flatbed machine, I would turn this entire bag inside out so that the inside, the exterior is on the inside. And then you could top stitch looking at the top and go around the bag this way. But with the cylinder arm, you don't have to do that. So you can just take this off. And it's just one screw to remove my attachment table. And the best little screwdrivers from Mojo Sews. They're the tiniest little guys. They work amazing. that aside and you can leave your thread tails long or we can backstitch. If you're going to backstitch and using a contrasting thread, I like to find a area since I'm using red thread, 
like I would put my back stitch right here where it has the red color or if you're using black you can back stitch in your black area but since I'm using red if I back stitch right here it's gonna blend in it's the same on both sides so as long as I start my back stitch right there then you'll never notice so I just need to make sure my handles are pulled up and straight and that I don't stitch them down. You don't want them back this way, you want them up. So make sure I'm top stitch. And here we go. You could definitely add a magnetic closure if you'd like. But with it being so small, I don't really think you need a magnet. Especially if you're going to use it as a gift bag. Hello, Lynette. We're actually just doing the top stitching, finishing up this little tote. So quick and easy. I think it's been like maybe 30 minutes. We're just talking about how good it could be for a gift bag. Just waterproof canvas, webbing, and a panel. backstitch right in that red area so that you never even notice and then that will be the back side anyway and that's it it's a cute little bag look at it it's the perfect little gift bag didn't even twist my, my handles. Just a little blow dryer to tighten up the lining a little bit. I didn't even um, do a smaller. Yes, isn't it so cute? Yeah, Glitter Bug had them um, as a kit and I could not resist. They are so cute. That's it, less than. 45 minutes just chatting, sewing it up. You could definitely batch sew them, super easy. Add a little magnet if you wanted. But I don't think it needs it. Like I said, it could be a little gift bag. Add some tissue paper and, and that's it. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Um, like I said, I will be gone um, this week. Oops, let me move you up. I'll be gone this week on the cruise. Um, Joey will be here to answer any questions or if you send emails. Almost all of our um, Black Friday sales um, and orders are out. We have a few more left that will go out this week. But thank you guys all so much for that. I will try and post videos and keep you updated on the cruise this week. But until then, I probably won't have any videos until I get back. So just keep an eye out on the group. That's where I will post updates, creating with Joe Lily. And this is an adorable little quick tote from Glitterbug Fairy. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye.